Hey guys, what's up? It's Josiah, and I'm back filming another video for you guys. And I just basically want to film a what's on my iPhone video because I find these videos interesting. And sorry you can't see my face right now. I honestly look a hot mess, and it's a school night, and yeah, it's like no good lighting outside. So I'm literally just using any light that I can find. I'm extremely sorry about that. But let's just hop into the video, guys. So, first things first, my wallpaper is Lana Del Rey, and I love her so much with literally all of my heart. She's amazing and an icon, and I just love her so much. Literally, um, my phone, like, okay, so my wallpaper right here is just Britney Spears from 2007, which was in my opinion, a good year. Not for her, but like, just for like, music in general, I don't know. But starting at the bottom, I just have phone, Spotify, Snapchat, and Twitter, and you know, I don't really, the only thing I basically use at the bottom too is really just Snapchat and Spotify. I don't really go on Twitter as often. And then, um, I'm just going to skip some apps on the front, just because most of them, everyone knows what they are. And I'm just going to start with this folder right here. So, in this folder, I have the SEO cam, which everyone knows what that is. There's like a million videos on how to use that app. Tumblr, which is basically another well-known app. And also, Facetune, which is basically an app. Like, it's basically a saver for really anything. If you're into the white theme on Instagram, I'd highly recommend this app because, well, I'm just going to use that photo. Um, I highly recommend this app just for, like, their whitening tool is really good. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, I look so ugly. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm literally just whitening this wall, and it's, like, a major difference like I highly recommend Facetune for that tool and there's also other tools that they have that are amazing as well and then I have Gliche which I mean it was honestly a, a waste of money because I don't really use that app as often and then I have Instagram and if you guys want to follow my Instagram which I'm currently inactive on there just because I haven't really been feeling photogenic as of lately but that's just my instagram if you guys want to follow it at via josiah and then my um the other app that i use is youtube obviously and drubio i was watching um another what's on my iphone video and i just download the app but it's honestly i don't get it i mean i do get it it's basically just for fashion and like to find what other celebrities are wearing and try to find like basically you know dupes for those outfits and stuff and planoli i use that instead of the seo cam because they changed like they changed their whole theme like it used to okay i'm just gonna show you guys like I can basically plan my theme for my Instagram and how I want it to be versus the SEO cam, which I haven't been on in a while because I'm not really into filters right now. Um, Yeah, like they have it all weird now, so it's like really hard to see what's going on. And then over here, I just have Candy Crush. Um, I'm never deleting this app just because I feel like I'm too far in the game to delete the app, so it's literally just staying on my phone. And then my school app, which is kind of boring. Um, okay, guys. Um, Duolingo. I use that and tra Google Translator because my Spanish teacher cannot teach. I don't know what I have to do to get out of his class. Like, honestly, he is the worst teacher ever. And then I have my school app. I have... Road Ready and DMV Guide, DMV Genius, can't read, DMV Genius for, like, driver's ed because I'm in that class currently. And then Evernote and Scannable, which is basically 
Evernote's like app. And then I have Messenger, Messages, Uber, PayPal, Kylie, and Google Apps. And then Depop, Etsy, and Surf Easy VPN. Um, okay. Yeah. I don't really use this app. So bye. Alright. So messages is like pretty self-explanatory. Uber also pretty self-explanatory. If you live in a city and like a big city, um, you can use this app and it's really helpful if you have parents that don't like to drive you places like mine. You can literally just use this app and um most of the time it's like really like a good deal, I'd say, because you can just refer people and like, you know, basically cheat your way through them coins. And then I have PayPal, which is like, you know, how you can send your friends money if you're lazy. And yeah. And then the Kylie app, um, I don't recommend it unless you're like a huge like Kardashian fan or whatever. I don't really recommend this app because it's like so glitchy and it's like, yeah, it's like really a bad app. But I did pay for the subscription, which ends literally tomorrow. So it's whatever. And then I have um, Depop and Etsy. Um, I'd say they're competitors in my opinion. Etsy has more like better products, I'd say. And Depop literally is so easy to sell stuff. I sell stuff off Depop. Um, but yeah, they're literally like Etsy is more expensive. Depop is more chill, but like you have to pay for shipping and stuff like that. And yeah, it's really chill. And then I have Atrax. I recommend Atrax and Spotify for finding newer artists and smaller artists. Just because um, I had Apple Music for a while and it was just so hard to find new artists. Which is normally what I do because I'm not like a mainstream type of person. And then I'm going to skip the social folder just because it's super boring. I have Mario Run, eBay, Amazon, and OfferUp. I recommend this app for like selling something. Like if you need to have something gone within like a second, it's so easy. I sold an iPad. Literally within like 10 hours, I'd say it was super smooth. But the only like con for that app is that you have to meet the person in real life. And then the trail, which is a game, stack is a game, pop the lock is a game. And I don't really play games. The only game that I probably do keep up to date with on my phone is Mario Run. All the other games I just downloaded because I was bored. And then in this folder, I just have, like, literally movie editing things because, because I do like film and, yeah, it's just going to be really interesting. Um, then I have Netflix. Um, I really don't watch Netflix off my phone, but, you know, it's good to have the app on your phone just in case. Then I have Zillow Rentals. And then Garden Play, Bitemoji, Zillow, and Wishbone. Zillow Rentals and Zillow are basically the same thing, except Zillow Rentals is obviously, like, rentals for, like, apartments and stuff like that. And Garden Plate is, like, a vegetarian app because I'm a pescatarian. And a pescatarian is basically a person who eats seafood. They don't eat other, like, animals, but they eat fish and stuff like that. So... I'm a pescatarian, and I like to use this app to find recipes and whatnot. Bitemoji is linked with Snapchat, so I use that for my Snapchat. And then Zillow and Wishbone. Oh my gosh, I love Wishbone so much. Like, honestly, truly. I just go on here when I'm legit bored and have nothing else to do with my life, to be honest. But lately, it's been so boring and, like... Yeah, like, no one's creative in here. Let's see. Bora Bora or New York. I'd say New York any day, honestly. Alright, so, that was what's on my iPhone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I sounded horrible up in this video. I'm still trying to get used to the camera, which sounds so bad, because I feel, like, acquainted with my YouTube channel right now, just because I haven't filmed in a long time. But I'm trying to put, like, full force, 80% into my YouTube channel because the other 20% is literally focused on school, which it should be vice versa. But, you know, 
I'm literally just working on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure to subscribe and if you like the video, make sure to like it. Um,